Hi, everybody. This is Will Bowen with today's Jumpstart. Continuing If by Rudyard Kipling. If you can keep your head while all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you. If you can trust yourself while all men doubt you, but make allowances for their doubting, too. If you can wait and not be tired of waiting, or being lied about, don't deal in lies, or being hated, don't give way to hating, and yet don't look too good, nor talk too wise. And today we're up to, if you can dream and not make dreams your master. I remember being a kid, and I think we all want to be that kid, and so maybe I made this up, but I, I do remember being just such a kid that was lost in fantasy all the time, the, uh, f fanciful ideas, um, you know, thinking of new ways that things could be better. I remember as a little boy, I was probably eight years old, and I was trying to think, because I grew up in South Carolina where it was extremely hot and humid. And I would always think in the summertime, how could you put air conditioning inside of clothes, you know? So to, to have these dreams, to, to dream, um, to, to think, to, to, to be creative, to conspire with your own brain. That's what I like to think of it as. You're conspiring with your own brain. And yet the best times to do this is when you are relaxed. I've noticed that um, I, I, I journal in the mornings. And so, and it's, you know, people have given me really beautiful journals, which is nice. And I'm always grateful. At the same time, I don't write these great prolific things that I'm not necessarily prolific, but profound things that I'm necessarily going to consult later. It's just brain dumping. But I find that as I'm brain dumping about whatever's on my mind, and I don't mean ranting, I mean thinking about, you know, how I want to do something or what's coming up or what I'm happy for, invariably something important is going to jump in that's totally unrelated while I'm writing. I'll be writing about one thing, and my mind, which is able to work on so many different levels, just all of a sudden goes, by the way, the answer to that other question you had, here it is, so write it down. If you can think and not, excuse me, if you can dream and not make dreams your master, if you can have aspirations of what it is that you want and yet not let them drive you, drive you to the point of being unhappy. Let them stand in front of you like a warm fire that you want to move towards, not something that is moving away from you that you need to run towards. If you can dream and not make dreams your master, you don't want to be caught up in allowing your dreams to overtake you to the point where you don't do anything. You know, um, I forgot the exact saying, but it's something about uh, don't dream of world peace. Get out of bed and do something about it. The same is true with our lives. We want to have dreams. So we want to have these aspirations. But we need to not just sit around and dream forever. At some point, we need to, as the Quakers say, to put feet beneath our prayers. Once you begin to put feet beneath your prayers, once you begin to take action, then your dreams don't master you. You begin to master your dreams. And that's when you begin to live the life you always dreamed of. Enjoy today, and we'll talk tomorrow. Bye-bye.